So here we go. I got these packaged in today. It's an Oracle lighting, which most of you guys know. It is the uh, Miro Ditch Light, I guess, for lack of a better term. Picture of it with it on right there. Yeah, so I just thought we'd try these out. You know, I think these will be a lot cleaner look than the uh, last fit. Nothing wrong with the last fit. They work great. They're fine. I just want something with a little bit cleaner look. I think this integrates well. So we'll try it out. If we don't like it. We can always go back to last fit. So check it out. We'll get you guys some video here soon of putting it on. Okay, so since I have the Lex package, I have I need to use the hole for the camera sensor. I, this is for the light. Uh, I guess for lack of a better term, floodlight or the light that lights up when you open your door. It'll poke through here. This is for the camera system, the 360 camera. This is for your turn signals. So you can see this plug came out of here. This little round rubber plug came out right there. And this thing came here. Now it just was stuck to there. It wasn't clipped in. So there is some res residue. I don't know if that's okay to have there because it took some of it off with it. I hope so. Come across relatively easy. But anyway, so you have your wiring. This is kind of like a two part. I'm assuming this disconnects, but I don't know. I have to look at it a little bit better. Sorry for the bad camera. Uh, assuming that disconnects, you need to. So, do that a little bit. And of course, the end of the wires uh, are just wires, so you have to kind of splice them in together. Uh, what I may do is use my typical connections. Either that or you just splice them the same. So either way, whichever way you want to do, because obviously one side doesn't need to be near as long as the other. So I'm not even sure. Uh, I'll probably end up cutting that pretty short for the driver's side since it's not going to near, need to be near as long, which should be this side. So anyway, so here's another one, the other one, the passenger side, same thing. Uh, like I said, I haven't took this out yet where the turn signal is. Also the, the plug. I haven't took that out yet. That's where the camera sticks to, and here's where the light sticks to. So I want to show this to you guys real quick. Uh, the lights themselves, they're actually pretty sleek looking. So we'll see what they look like once you get They do have your directions on here, but of course I will also reference their video install. They have posted as well. Let's give you a little so, baseline. Here's fog lights, ditch lights. These were are the... Uh, as you can see, these are actually pretty good. These are headlights. This car get past here so we don't blind them. Fogs, which are pretty good. Ditch lights, which are awesome. And like I said, we'll get more of these to come. Turn the headlights off here real quick so you can see. Let's see if we can get back a little bit to show you guys what these look like. All right, so we got these in too. These are just little covers you put over the ditch lights. Got these from Oracle. They just come out these. These just snap right on. They're magnetic. Good addition, right, Whitten? Yeah, slap these on. Protect these lights from getting hit by rock. Of course, there's some uh, states, I think, municipalities that require you to cover off-road lighting anyway. So... Those do fit good. I just, you know, I wish the Oracle logo wasn't quite as prominent. Maybe it could still be there, but maybe a lighter gray to where it blends in better. Be my preference. A little more discreet. I don't blame them for wanting to put their brand on everything because they sell it and they work hard for it. But, you know, I don't like it to be too noticeable as well. So All right. So here comes the final analysis. What I recommend these. It's a tricky situation because it depends on what your setup is. If you have a Lux package like me, I would be hesitant to recommend it to you. Simply because this thing is hard to piece back together. When you have these lights out and all these things, components in here together, uh, you have to have it just right for it to pop back into place. Driver's side went pretty easy. Passenger side, I still have a tiny little, tiny, teeny, tiny gap here. Probably not noticeable unless you need to look for it. But, you know, something else to consider too. You go take this mirror off. If you don't have that thing turned all the way in, all the way up, you yank it out. You gotta be very careful because if you have that blind spot mirror uh, mechanism there, if you damage that, that's a $1,500 replacement for it. You should have to buy the entire mirror assembly for that. So always be mindful of that as well. Of course, if you accidentally fall or drop your mirror, 
break it, that's two hundred dollar piece as well. Don't ask me how I know. Anyway, who would I really recommend it for? If you have base model, uh, or you have non lux, or especially if you have an Everglades model, I would highly recommend these. The light output is really good. It's not that expensive. Wiring is pretty easy. Uh, you know, especially with the Everglades, you got to consider that snorkels coming out through here. So the traditional ditch lock spots is not going to be available for you. So these would be the perfect answer for that. You know, so I think it would be a, a no-brainer, especially for an Everglades model. I would recommend for a non-Everglades model as well if you don't want to go with the traditional pods. Now, traditional pods and these are pretty comparable as far as light output, given the price range you're in. So, I mean, I don't think there's any clear, distinct advantage. These are pretty bright. Uh, you know, they're just a neater look, cleaner look. So, just be mindful of that. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I uh, hope you will consider uh, subscribing to our channel. Most of our viewers are not subscribers, and that's uh, very disappointing because that helps us grow. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, so please consider doing that. Do us a little bit solid. Also, help, subscribe, help our other uh, YouTube uh, channel friends out there, Bronco based or Overland based, whatever, you know, just uh, if you really like those channels, please consider to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Helps them out because it doesn't cost you a thing. Anyway, see you guys soon. More to come. All right, you'll notice here on the driver's side, there is a slight more shed of artifact, especially on this view right here. But other than that, that's it.